as I stand over the corpse of this demon butcher. I want to welcome you back to part three of my Diablo 1 permadeath playthrough. Last episode, I think you can tell what happened. And if you saw it, you know what happened. I confronted this freaking demon and I slayed him. After a little trip to the shop. I, I don't know if that was the actual thing, but the extra health potions definitely did not did not hurt. But now we can move on. I don't know if they would actually say something in town now that I've killed the butcher. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to town and I'm gonna check out if anyone says anything about it. And uh, if they don't, I'll just cut this. Perfect. So I'll be back here. Be back here, right where I am right now. Uh, if no one said anything, all right? Cool. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albrecht, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Alright, I did not expect to get both the Butcher and the King Leoric, the Skeleton King quest, on the same playthrough. I don't think that ever happened to me when I was a kid. Is that some update that happened? I mean, back in the day, when you played a game, you didn't get updates, right? Uh... Or if you wanted to, if you want to play online, I guess you might have had to update, but it wasn't like now when they patched in uh, things. So I've never experienced this in my life. Uh, I'm very happy. I get to have two of the most iconic quests uh, of all time in one one playthrough. Freaking awesome! All right. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Will Tavern of the just... Rising Sun. The same thing again, if I press the uh, Curse of Cure. As I told you, good master, yeah. the king was entombed three levels below. He's down there, waiting in the putrid darkness for his chance to destroy this land. For everyone who played Diablo 3, uh, you're also uh, familiar with the Skeleton King. It's the first boss of Act 1, uh, but uh, this is the origin story of it. Uh, I feel like in Diablo 3 they were a little bit lazy, they just did both King the Orc and the Butcher again. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! A little, what can uh, I do uh, for I, you? I would have wished for something new since it was a new game. But, uh, let's talk to everyone about this. Uh, Curse of King the Orc. I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. I even crafted a huge two handed sword of the finest mithril for him, mithril. as well as a field crown to match. I uh, still can't believe how he died. But it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane! <laughs> drove him insane! Well, uh, a few things there. Uh, I did not know that Mithril was a thing in, uh, in Diablo, and I don't think they ever do any other Mithril references in the other Diablo, or I just haven't noticed it. But, I mean, of course, everyone is a Lord of, Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, Lord of the Rings fan, of course, it would use Mithril if you made your fantasy game. And then maybe move away from it when you were big enough to. Time to sell a drink in peace? I, I'm lit it's, I'm t it's too bad that uh, I don't get comments from the town folk telling me how awesome I am for slaying the butcher. But hey, you know, uh, I'm a hero. I don't need, I don't need their praise. I definitely don't need it. <laughs> I don't care about that. Listen. No skeleton is going to be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! Yeah. I mean, Farnham is loyal loyal to the end. <laughs> uh, 
I like Farnham. I think he's my favorite character in the in the village. He's my favorite, definitely. What ails you, my friend? Oh, I'm gonna get some healing. Talk to Pepin. The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Hmm. Yeah, the thing with Prince Albrecht. So, uh, if you look at my uh, thumbnail for part one, you see a picture of uh, Diablo and a little boy in front of him. That is uh, King Leoric. Uh, that, that is Prince Albrecht, the son of uh, King Leoric. And, uh, well, Diablo has, uh, is possessing him down in the catacombs. So... He was possessing the son, and he was driving the fa the, the the king, the father, insane. Uh, and that is kind of how this whole uh, kingdom fell. Let's see, Wirt. Psst, over here. What do you have to say? Look, I am running a business here. I don't sell information, and I don't care about some king that's been dead longer than I've been alive. If you need something to use against this king of the undead, then I can help you out. Been dead longer than he has been alive. Does that mean that... The King the Ori... I mean, how old could work, work be? Like, I don't know, 12? <laughs> I'm horrible at judging the, uh, the age of kids. It might as well be, uh, I have no idea. 16? From 10 to 16? I see no difference. That's just the same. Um... So, he's been dead for that long? I, I guess I never thought about how, how long it took to corrupt this place, how long this has been going on. So, hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that in between gameplay session. Maybe I had something to, to inform you about about this in part four, if I survive that long. I sense a soul in search of answers. I am. Give me some answers. The dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here. That got me thinking, actually, for Diablo 4. Uh, at the moment, uh, maybe when someone is watching this, we know all about the five characters uh, and everything about Diablo 4. Uh, but they usually have one warrior class and one like hybrid warrior class. Like in Diablo uh, 2, they had the Barbarian, straight up warrior, Paladin, like the hybrid sort of a, a spellcaster. Um, close uh, uh, combat expert. And in Diablo 3 they had the Barbarian and then the Monk when they released it. They re later also added the Crusader, right? It would be cool to have, uh, to flip that a little bit to maybe make the, um, kind of like a Death Knight sort of a thing. Uh, where you mix the Necromancer with the Warrior instead of mixing a healer with the Warrior to have some sort of a, a like, really dark skeleton freaking crazy dark magic warrior, the most uh, freaking edgy <laughs> character of them all, uh, that all the weebs can play. As a matter of fact, I take that back, I don't want this character, uh, the internet's gonna be full of them. <laughs> I don't wanna what see can it. I do for you? Oh yeah, I already talked to Griswold, let's go to Deckard Kane. Last in line. Hello my friend, stay a while and listen. Ah, the story of our king is it. The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. Yeah, uh, so he was both pious and a good man and everything, and uh, Diablo just ruined the man. Uh, I am gonna leave these here, because I'm going down there with uh, my axe. To, 
cleave some demon heads. But this, uh, I, I hope I can. Uh, this one only has 10 durability, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to repair this quite a lot. I have a repair skill as a warrior that is right here. Uh, but it is to my memory that this one also hurts the overall dur durability. So you can use it on something, but if you do, uh, you... So, so my axe, if I fixed it, it would go from 10 out of 10 to 9 out of 9, and so on and so forth. So it would destroy your equipment that way. Oh! Pardon me. I hope I cut this. I forgot to talk to Jillian. What a pig of a man I am. You forgot to talk to the lady of the village. Let's see. What does she have to say? Good day. How may I serve you? I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. I was, but if Wirt's correct, I mean, Wirt might just have said that like in passing. It might have happened a year ago, uh, and he just said that because he wanted to make a point. It might not literally be correct that uh, he's been dead longer than Wirt has been alive. Um, so yeah, maybe it happened a couple of years ago or something like that. Who knows? I guess we can count the years in how many skeletons he has managed to raise so far. I'm just gonna go and spit at the but butcher. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that was you. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Level three. Somewhere in this place is a big angry skeleton. Oh no! I was gonna drink the potion. I accidentally used the healing scroll. Ah! So far, so good. Level three. What devilry will we encounter here, I wonder? We got burning dead captains right here, alright. Well, they know how to walk, they know how to fight, they know how to block. And they know exactly who to fi uh, who, who they should attack and who they shouldn't. But they can't open a door, can they? <laughs> let's, let, let's get rid of these guys. Bam! Okay. Okay. That was very anticlimactic. I feel like that's the only sound effect that I'm like, oh, that could have been better. Like the, the skeletons, when you hit them and they die. They're like, oh. Actually, the hit sound, when they get hit once, super good. When they fall apart, huh. I would have, something thumpier would have been good. Come on, skelly. Bam. And how many explosions did we get, get in here? I'm gonna bet... Mm, I'm gonna bet three. Three explosive barrels. Okay. So far, I'm wrong. Oh, that was, that was three, right? If nothing else explodes, I was right. Ah, four. Mm. We should do, start doing betting. To turn this into a betting channel where you bet on like explosive barrels. <laughs> Actually, read, uh, but a post on Reddit, like the top post I think of today, uh, that was just unpopular. I was like, okay, you're stuck in the latest video game you played. How screwed are you? I am so freaking screwed. Uh, being stuck in Diablo 1? Ooh. That is a nightmare. The literal one. Like the classic nightmare, right? What? I can... Oh, I can... I can see those through the wall. Okay. I was confused there for a second. <coughs> ah! Freaking traps. I do like the sound of the trap, though. I realize that is how much... Um, Sound effects actually matter. And it's really important. I mean, the visual of a thing can be, you know, uh, 
It doesn't have to be amazing. But if you have something that looks visually mediocre, but makes it freaking awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 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 Let's kill these guys. And then get back to the audio. The dark one. Get. Bleed. Come on. Or bow. Composite bow. Dark one, devilkin. What the heck? How many of these fallen variations of the fallen ones will we will we meet? All right. I was talking about audio. So you can have a axe that looks ah not very detailed. Maybe even the texture is a little bit off. But you have a good freaking swing sound and a good thumping sound when you hit something with it. Then I'm gonna use that axe. I don't know uh, about other people, but. The sound makes the whole thing. If it looks good, super. Sounds good, I'm freaking in. Okay, one strength. Let's go two vitality this time. Oh, oh snap! There's no take backs. I pressed magic. And unfortunately now we got magic into an unlucky number. It's 13. No, I can't leave it at 13. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, it's actually 16. So, it's not actually 30. It's 16. So, don't worry about it. It's not unlucky. Not unlucky at all. Why are you worrying? I'm not worrying. Stop it. <laughs> and there it is. To King the Oryx Tomb. Uh, I'm gonna clear this out. Maybe I have time for one more level. Oh, we got a Gore Tongue Super Zombie. I bet this guy can take the beating, but he hits really hard. That's my guess. Uh, okay, I guess we'll never find out. <laughs> uh, firewall. Oh, we don't have any, um... don't have any identify. King the Oryx Tomb. I already know what it's gonna say. It's gonna say... The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> Freaking coolest thing I've ever heard. Ah! Every I don't know if everything uh, in this game got stuck in my head because I was young and impressionable, or if it's actually super good. Like this is this. That is kind of why I uh, wanted to play this. To see how how much of a tint there was at my, of my uh, rose colored glasses, so to speak. Like some games, it probably you shouldn't play them. Uh, because you'll just, you'll just be sad if you do. Jesus, there's a lot of people here. Let's do a healing scroll. There we go. Oh, is this the, the crew for Gorton that I just killed? Ah, okay. Don't get cocky. Don't get surrounded. If you get cocky and get surrounded, you get dead. Rules of Diablo 1. There we go. Okay, I got gold, I got more gold. And you get sent back to the hell you came from. Um, all right, so we're talking about uh, nostalgia. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that most of us think of the games we played when we grew up as, uh, as like better than everything that comes out now. Rarely is that the case. Uh, usually the games that come out now are way better in uh, most ways. Graphically, uh, gameplay-wise, just uh, content-wise. Um, a lot of people are, are talking about, oh, we they just want to sell everything with DLC and all that stuff. Yeah, sure, but you usually get more in the starting box than you've ever got before, ever. Um, and I think that most most of this no nostalgia is easily defeated by just playing something again. So that's what I was scared of when I was going to play this. Mo the first impression is usually the graphics. 
you jump into something and you just realize that, hey, this looks like literal garbage. Uh, not literal garbage. Uh, I'm gonna try not to talk too internet-y. It doesn't look good. Uh, and we're mostly talking about 3D games when it comes to that. Because all, po all that's polygons. Uh, and especially when there's a, a very few of them uh, in games look bad. Like I... Oh, get out of there, don't get surrounded. Oh, yeah, door opening. Yeah, come at me now, bros. Skelly bros. Bam, one hit per skelly. Can we do it? Yes, one hit. Oh, 100% hit rate. Um, no, the 3D games are usually the first ones to go. Uh, I would be scared to, to play uh, Metal Gear Solid again. I think that the graphics of that might sully my memory of it. But, look at this game. Oh, I shouldn't have the map up. Just look at this game. I think it looks really good. And uh, I'm guessing this is sprite based. And uh, yeah, I mean... If you want to future-proof a game, then uh, even if you did it now, like uh, if you look at something like um, the golden art style. If anyone uh, uh, played like Streets of Rage 3, awesome old Sega beat 'em up game. One of, also one, one of my favorite games. Recently released the Streets of Rage 4, and it was awesome. And it was mostly awesome because they stuck. Oh, ow! Stuck with having an art style that was cartoony and everything. And that Streets of Rage 4 is gonna look as good in 10 years as it does now. Because you stayed away from 3D. That's why... Oh, come on. There we go. That's why you look at old Nintendo games and you're like, Oh, this looks good. Uh, or it doesn't look good. It has a separate art style mostly because nothing else looks like it. But um, uh, if you go for the, the, there's no, not much, not many people who want to replay the N64 era of games. PS2 has a really hard time. PS3 is, oh shoot, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna start talking about this stuff. Hey, 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 hey skeletons, skeletons. You want to have a holy bolt? Oh, it actually worked. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Come at me, bros. I have a door. What do you have? Bam. Bam. Well, they don't understand bottlenecks, these guys. Or, well, maybe they do. They just think that they will win. I can't carry anymore. That was too easy. Oh. I want gold, I want gold. Uh, okay, so a charge bolt. 25 magic. Hmm. Seeing the holy bolt doing that much damage, I gotta say. I'm tempted to put more points into magic. I could. I could... I could... Take away this 13. Hmm. Oh wait, I only put one point of magic there by mistake. And... As far as I know... Oh yeah, that's the now after the magic is applied. So with my axe and with my cap, I have 60 strength, right? So those shrines I earlier went to, they actually increased my stats, I think. That's super cool. Permanent stat boost from uh, shrines. Freaking awesome. Let's have a mana drink. Firewall. We can do firewall now. Ah. Uh, longbow. Uh, we're gonna have to go to town and just uh, sell some stuff. I have two town portals. Let's do it. The main point I wanted to get to when I was talking about all that is that Diablo 1 freaking holds up and I love that. Wow, that makes me so what happy. can I do for you? Let's identify some stuff first. Hello, my friend. 
Stay a while. Oh, we only have listen. an axe. Yeah. Four to twelve. Axe of radiance. Light radius. Ha! Sorry, I'm gonna take some water. Ah. Um, light radius is one of those uh, what they call um, trash stats, right? What it does is that it just lightens the, the area around your character. Look. I can barely see it. Maybe you actually have to be in the dungeon. But yeah, light radius is just... Uh, it increases the brightness of the screen, basically. So you can see better in the darkness. We're gonna take the club of the mind. I'm gonna read this book. I think we actually gained some mana by reading the books in book as well. Let's go back in there. Less talking, more cleaving, I say. Man, I'm having so much fun with this game. Come on, come on. I ain't scared of nothing anymore. I killed the butcher. I'm just waiting. Take, eat axes. Dumb zombie. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you, he can take a hit. Him too. Hey, hey, what's going on now? Who the hell can take two hits from my axe? This is not promising. Oh! Oh, snap! Shooting us with stuff. I'm gonna shoot back. I'm gonna shoot back with charge bolt. Oh! Kill him. Kill him. Ah! Long sword. How good is the long sword? Ooh, 2 to 10. And it looks nice, too. I mean, it's gonna look the same for my warrior as it does there. Fountain of Tears, okay. I'm gonna keep my character thing open. And let's see if I can see something change. Did everything go up? Magic 15, 46. But I think I got one plus in everything. Freaking awesome! I did not remember that all the stuff you find, shrines and stuff, is so freaking essential in this game. I remember, I think I played Diablo 3 too much because that is just temporary bonuses all the time. Get more XP or something like that. For like, five minutes. Well this one is straight up like, hey, yeah, extra strength. Forever. Love it. Hmm. I think, um, if I remember correctly, when we go to the Auric, it's gonna be a big crowd of skellies. So I'm just gonna charge bolt my way through there. Charge bolt is that classic Diablo. Um, ah! Oh, shoot! A Diablo spell that shoots lightning across the floor. But you can't control where it goes, so it just goes at random, and then you hope for the best. So, it's uh, pretty good against crowds, I would say, or at cro close range. Uh, otherwise, uh, not so much. Ah, I I'm gonna show on the next enemy. He's gonna get a charged bolt in the face. Let's see, I wanna have time to actually confront King the Orc in this one. This part. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually like the Diablo 2 actually created a bunch of new lore. I feel like Diablo 3 did as well, but Act 1 was basically a reboot in a way of Diablo 1 with the Butcher. King the Auric, with the Cathedral, with everything. It's just a reimagining of the same thing. I think that's one of the things why people got so disappointed. Because it was the same thing, but it with a different art style. So it just, uh, uh, your memory of the place got all wonky. A ma uh, magic maze? Alright, let's, let's take some charge bolt, guys. 
Oh. Okay, I missed everything. <laughs> oh, that's too many. Oh, I almost got stuck. Yeah. Some tasty axe. Okay, let's let them in. I'll fight fairly. I mean, you would stand a better chance if you weren't stupid. But fortunately for you, you are. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling these guys imps. Maybe that's from uh, oh, what the fancy magic one. Maybe that's from a Dungeon Keeper. I don't remember. Where are they called imps? Is that from Heroes of Might and Magic? Well, I'm just saying a bunch of cool names now of old games that I want to play. <laughs> uh, let's heal. Not that. enough mana. What? Let's do a full one. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, I almost died because of pride. I didn't want to use a potion. So I wanted to heal with the spell. Oh, Whew. luckily, I'm just have slow thoughts sometimes, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> let's, let, let's get the town portal out of here because I am gonna freaking use that thing when I think it's a health potion. And here we found level 4. Alright. You know where to go after King Leoric is dead. Ah, oh, a bunch of archers. Die, 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 die. Oh, no, what did I do? I thought I had charged bolt, so I was gonna shoot that. I'm so lucky that I uh, leveled up. Because you get full health when you level up. <laughs> Gold, gold. All right, six to try. Let's see what this actually does now. Bring the character sheet up. Okay, let's uh, first go vitality, two in that, uh, dexterity. I want thirty in that because some had uh, requirements of thirty. Some I think it was the long sword or something. The way is made clear when viewed from above. Oh no! It cleared out the map! That is the worst shrine you can get, because now, now I don't know where I've been and where I haven't been. Mm. Now I'm gonna have a fear of shrines. Blizzard, when you thought of that one, you thought wrong. Nobody wants that. Let's see, charge bolt. Okay, I, I thought of a reason why, why you might want that. If you want to know the way down really bad, and you actually, like... Ah! Uh, trying to make time. Oh, a bunch of gold in this room. Nice. We found someone's secret stash. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm checking the time. It is my turn to cook dinner. <laughs> and I gotta make sure that I have enough time to actually cook. So hopefully, I can uh, wrap this up by putting an axe in the head of the Skeleton King. But firstly, we are town portaling. Why, you ask? Well, I don't have a lot of healing potions, do I? I have full potions there, and some extra for small healing up there. That should be enough. Let's go in there and slay ourselves a king. Should rename my character to Jamie Lannister. No, because I'm actually going to kill this guy from the front. <laughs> the warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> okay, I didn't do the laughter, but I did say that. Come on. How good is my memory after all those years? The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, 
to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> That was such a cool thing, I thought. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Just those words was like, oh, that's cool. Love that. But now the coldness of death is gonna get an axe to the face. Uh, and you gotta make sure to clear out as many of these freaking archers as possible. Works bow. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Okay, that didn't work as I thought. You know what? Holy Bolt is probably better. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, stop shooting arrows at me. Heh! <laughs> I knew getting Holy Bolt would be a cool thing. Okay. So, what do we do? Okay, we just killed a bunch of skeletons. Got it. No problem with, for me. Oh. Okay. I pulled the lever even even before I knew what to do. Okay, dead. Another bow. Bunch of short bows. I don't even want to sell these. They take up too much inventory. I don't want to... Oh, what's going on up there? I'm scared that I'm going to activate, like, aggro skeleton king. I want to kill as many uh, of his uh, minions as possible before I go and release him out of his freaking tomb. Question is why he locked himself in with the only way out being from the outside. I mean, it's a cozy thing, but don't you want to be able to go out whenever you want? Okay, so I didn't pull the lever. Does that mean that he's not here? Or is it just that there's two ways to open this path? Screw it, I'm gonna pull the lever. Pulled lever is better than an unpulled lever, I say. Oh! There's a path here. Come on. Nice. Longbow. Oh, what? A freaking unique cap? Oh, and I don't have identify. Come on. Wait, did we open one of those on the other side too? No, we did not. Just so that one was to open this door, and the other one was to. Okay. Shush. Happy I checked it out. Now let's stay out of the way and hug the corners until we can deal with this. His little corpsey skelly friends. Come on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 he's here. He's here. There he is. Shit. Shit, get out of here. Get to where bows don't shoot. Or just kill the bow guys. Oh no, he's raising them. That's not good. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Don't die. Ow. Ow. Okay. That was, uh, didn't work. Oh, shoot. I didn't, I didn't remember that he can raise the dead. Like, literally, they're super dead. They can get him in here anyway. So then it doesn't matter where you actually fight him, because he's just gonna raise everyone around. Or well, I guess you can get out of the way from all the freaking... Archers, there we go. Here. Come on. Come on, don't. There, hit him. Hit him again. Come on. Come out. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. Come on. Oh, snap. Well, Leoric. I'll find your son. Oh, one boss per per part, huh? Jesus. Yeah, rest in peace. I'm sorry I laughed over the fact that let's say let's rest in peace, Leoric. I'm gonna say what the warrior said. Uh, I'll find your son. I will. Gonna clear up this place. 
Oof. But it's a really sad story, the one about the king. Uh, I like the story though. This. Jesus, are we? I can't carry any more. This warrior go like on a subscription service for a freaking helmet? What's going on? Okay, nothing in there. Oh! Come on. What? What were these guys? Were were they helping their king? They're just hanging out here. They had a coffee break while he was fighting the big, uh, the Aiden, the hero. Oh yeah! I didn't even think of that. Technically, I'm the guy's son. That's canonically who this is supposed to be. So that's why I don't like the retconning they did in Diablo 3 because, uh, well. You clearly Too notice that there is no there's no family ties between these guys, you know? It would have been would have been a tad more sad for the uh, warrior. I got a had he killed his own stuff. father right there. But that's just what I what I say. Maybe I'm wrong, Blizzard. Maybe you shouldn't retcon all the stuff you're right. Uh, yeah, well, we can do this. I'm a master at freaking Diablo inventorying. Boom. Boom. And boom. Get that book. And I think I'm gonna start the next episode by clearing out this stuff. Uh, but there we have it. The Prince Aiden, which we've named our character, uh, the son of the Auric now killed his skeleton father, and uh, we are going after his son, or AKA my, the warrior's little brother. According to the canonical lore of the whole thing. So that was a fun episode. I didn't expect to fight King the Auric. I'm very happy if you watch this far. Consider subscribing, hit the bell so you'll see when part 4 comes out. We're probably gonna go head down in the catacombs in the part four, so that's gonna be uh, pretty exciting. Oh, and if you liked the video, press the like button. That would be awesome. See ya. Bye.